how the dog found himself a master. Dogs were once their own masters and lived the way wolves do, in freedom, until a dog was born who was ill-pleased with this way of life. He was sick and tired of looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than he. He sought it out and decided that the best thing for him to do was to become a servant of one who was stronger than anyone on earth. And he began to look for such a master. He walked and he walked, and he met a big wolf, who was as strong as he was fierce. Where are you going, dog? the wolf asked. I am looking for someone to take up service with. Would you like to be my master, wolf? I don't see why not, the wolf said. And the two of them went on together. They walked and they walked, and all of a sudden the wolf sniffed and ran quickly off the path and into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest. The dog was much surprised. What's come over you, master? he asked. What has frightened you so? Can't you see? There is a bear out there, and he might eat up both you and me. Since that, the bear was stronger than the wolf, the dog decided to take up service with him. And he left the wolf and asked the bear to be his master. The bear agreed to this readily and said, Let us go and find a head of cows. I'll kill a cow and then we can both eat it. They walked on and soon saw a head of cows. But just as they were about to come up to eat, they were stopped by a terrible noise. The cows were mooing loudly and running in a panic in all directions. The bear looked out from behind a tree, and then he turned deeper into the forest. Now, why I did have to come here? asked the dog. It's the lion who rules the forest in these parts. The lion? Who is he? Don't you know? He is the strongest beast on earth. Well then, I'll say goodbye to you, bear. I want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. And the dog went off to ask the lion to be his master. The lion agreed to eat and the dog stayed with him and served him for a long, long time. It was a good life, and he had nothing to complain of, for there was no stronger beast in the forest than the lion, and no one touched the dog or offended him in any way. But one day, the two of them were walking side by side along the path that ran Elman bear cliffs, when, all of a sudden, the lion stopped. He gave a great roar, struck the ground angrily with his paw, with such force that a hole formed there, and began to back away very quietly. What is it, master? Is anything wrong? asked the dog, surprised. I smell a man coming this way. The lion said, We'd better to run away, or we'll be in trouble. Oh, well then, I'll say goodbye to you, lion. I want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. And the dog went off to join the man, and he stayed with him and served him faithfully. This happened long, long ago, but to this day, the dog is man's most loyal servant and doesn't know any other master.